What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, Zubuntu 19.04 has been released. And actually, I think the ISO image was actually released yesterday, so I'm kind of late, but that's fine. Um, I've also made a video about Kubuntu and Ubuntu itself, so if you want to take a look at those videos, you can. Uh, but anyway, this is Zubuntu 19.04, so this is what you'll be greeted with once you uh, boot it from the live CD. And of course, we'll just try uh, Zubuntu instead of installing it. Uh, keep in mind also, I'm on a virtual machine, so the performance might not be as good as it could be, might not do this version as much justice as it otherwise would, but yeah, so right off the bat, as you can see, it features this interesting wallpaper. Um, I believe this is a sun or the sun, I believe this represents the sun. Um, I don't know, uh, it's abstract, it's pretty cool, I like it. Um, and actually, let's take a look at what other wallpapers they have. So, um, right here at the bottom, they have the abstract wallpapers. And then they have some nature wallpapers, some interesting, interesting wallpapers, but I'll just stick to the default wallpaper. And so, what does this version have to offer? Well, just like Ubuntu 19.04, um, it uses the latest kernel, kernel 5.0. And on top of that, of course, there's um, application up updates and stability updates and all that type of stuff. Um, and so I haven't really used Ubuntu in a long time and I haven't really used XFC itself in a long time uh, so I'm not sure with exactly all the details and everything that they've improved or, or changed uh, but apparently the the Uraj cal calendar is no longer included so I remember that when you click on the date you can see this mini calendar here I don't know if that's what they're referring to or not um, but apparently that's long, uh, that's gone and as well as the XFC Quick Launcher plugin, that's gone as well. Um, and also there is something that's called the apt URL that's included as well. So it's basically an easy way to link to and install packages from the repositories. Um, and it also supports most browsers. And so let's take a look here. Um, GIMP is also included. So apparently GIMP has not been included as you know, a default application installed on the system uh, for quite a couple of versions now, but apparently now it's back. It's using the latest version of GIMP and it definitely, I really like how the title bar is pretty small. Um, it definitely gives you a lot of vertical screen, screen estate. It's very nice. I also, I don't know if they changed the icons here at the system tray on the top as well, but they look um, definitely much better than before. Um, that's the thing with um, XFC is that it's a bit less modern looking, but if you choose the right themes, you can make it look pretty good. And on top of that, it's uh, very good in regards to performance and whatnot. Um, so also LibreOffice and Press is also included so let's take a look at the writer for example and as you can see that launched up um, at least the splash logo launched up really fast um, and of course you know because I'm on a virtual machine it won't be as fast or smooth um, but on an actual system you know performance will definitely be there so But yeah, you know, um, I don't know if they really changed the themes or whatever. Um, if you're familiar with Zubuntu, you know, and if you see any changes here with the themes and whatnot, then um, you can definitely see that as well. Um, but when it does come to appearance, let's take a look. It's using the Greybird by default. For icons, it's the elementary XFC darker fonts. And then yeah, you have the other settings here. So, of course, the flagship edition, the GNOME edition of Ubuntu, you know, of course, it's going to have a bit more improvements. 
um, regarding using the latest version of GNOME, having updated icons, updated um, themes and whatnot, uh, and also uh, the updated performance. I think that out of the three flavors that I've made videos on, this one, Kubuntu and Ubuntu, I think Ubuntu is definitely the most like worthy of upgrading. Like up, if you're using a, an older version, it's definitely worth upgrading to the latest version. Uh, for this one, you know, that's basically all, all I know so far. And of course it has this, what seems to me, you know, a new wallpaper. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I think it's pretty nice, you know, it's pretty neat. But um, I mean, this version is supported till January of next year. So, um, I mean, XFC, that's the thing with XFC is that it's rock stable, it's very stable. Um, I definitely really like it. It was actually one of the first desktop environments I've used. Um, and also right here, I'm going to kind of scroll through the application so that you can see what uh, it comes with by default. So, you know, it basically has all the essentials, you know, the web browser, the file manager, terminal, let's take a look at that. The text editor, let's take a look. Uses mouse pad for the text editor. I mean, I think that this is, it's got a nice look, you know? Um, doesn't look quite as modern as the other flavors, but I think that it, it has a nice simple look. Um, the speed is gonna be there, so I think if you haven't tried a previous version of this, definitely give this uh, a try especially if you, you plan on installing it on older hardware. Um, but if you're using Zubuntu like 18.10, for example, or 18.04 or whatever, you know, um, I don't really see quite as much of a reason to, to upgrade. Uh, but yeah, that was basically it. Just a really quick overview, just kind of taking a look at uh, what to expect uh, from the latest version. And yeah. Hope you liked it. Let me know what you think of Zubuntu or even XFC for that matter. Um, and yeah, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.